Okay, how's it going everyone? Mike the Warhost here and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I am going to start a new video series where I focus on showing off projects and minis that I'm working on and what I intend to get done because I have a lot of half finished and quarter finished and almost finished models scattered around and it's getting to be a bit much so I'm going to try focusing on getting things completed first before I add anything else. Uh, I'm probably going to do this about once every one to two weeks just to get some progress and so people can keep me focused and on the right track so I so my hobby ADD doesn't get to be too much and I flitter off over to something else because that happens I that happens way too often for me to feel comfortable admitting to the entire internet. So what I'm going to be focusing on for the next week or two is Battletech, obviously, as you can see right in front of me. Um, right now I have all of my clan minis set up. These ones I'm going to be painting up as clan ghost bear as my existing collection. Right, and here we have my completed ghost bear alpha galaxy collection to this point. Okay, so in the back are most of the clan mechs that you get from the new Apple Strike box set. Uh, if you look over onto the far side, this guy right here. This, this one here is a Kodiak that I 3D printed. Um, I will leave a link to all of the STLs far, that I have this far below. So yeah, I got him because I couldn't find the actual clan box that he comes in. So I said, you know what? I have two 3D printers. I'll just run, run this guy off and we'll be set. So the rest of these are just the stand, you know, some of the standard clan mechs that you get in the new Alpha Strike box. Just to try something a bit different, I also started to do this Nova Prime here. I started, started to do this Nova Prime here um, as a way to try to find a quick and easy way to do a uh, Jade Falcon scheme. Uh, this one I brushed on a layer of GW's Hex Ray Flame. It looked a bit splotchy, so I tried running it through an airbrush, and it's okay, it looks decent, but like I said, it was just a test. I can probably try to make it, I can probably try to make this work. I have a couple of ideas, and if that doesn't, then, those of you who are paying attention, I have another one right here. This one got, this one came from my main factory from the same guy who designed the Kodiak. To match him, I also have a, it's a regular Viking. I plan on painting him up and running him as a Viking 2C. And a summoner. So that one I'll probably do as Ghost Bear and then print up another one and then print up another one and paint that one as Jade Falcon. Just so I can just so I can have my own little Star Colonel Nikolai Malthus of the Jade Falcon plan. Ready to go. And honestly the inner sphere mechs have proven to be a bit tricky. Found a very quick and easy guide on YouTube from Camel Specs Online to do a super fast gray death legion scheme. And I tried it out a couple of times and this is my this is the best result that I was able to come up with. And honestly, I am not too thrilled with this Marauder. I think it's just because I live in a desert and it's always super, super dry. There's almost no humidity. So the contrast paint tends to dry up really fast. And I, no matter how hard I try, I always end up with splotches all over the place. So I printed off another Marauder, another one, slightly different model, and tried this uh, and tried this one with a more traditional scheme that I used for, that I've used for my mechs, for my Clan Ghost Bear mechs. Uh, this one I gave a with this one I did a quick base coat with uh, Vallejo Game Air Cold Gray, and then painted in some painted in some basic stripes with uh, Army Painter Necromancer Cloak, and gave this a black oil wash. Put a good amount of thinned down oil paint on here, let it sit for about half an hour or so, and wiped it away with some mineral spirits. And this looks a whole lot better personally than my previous attempt. I still have some more highlighting and stuff to do with it and add it to a base, but so far I am very happy with the way that these have turned out. I also have Warhammer. I also have Warhammer and an Archer done with the same basic method. And those turn those have honestly have turned out really well. My last attempt doing the contrast method with a with a Warhammer model did not turn out well at all. Yeah, I'm not sure if it comes across, but it's really hard to see the actual striping and the contrast paint dried all weird. Again, just because I live in a desert and paint dries super, super fast. My last attempt with that was to try thinning the contrast paint down a bit. And this is what I got. I'm still not happy. So I'll probably try to find another model online somewhere to replace him. Um, I also tried with a locust, tried running the contrast paint through an airbrush and that just turned it like straight black. 
So I went ahead and printed off another Locust. <sighs> I am super happy with the fact that Dialtech is very miniatures agnostic and being able to print off minis whenever I want for whatever, however many I want is an absolute godsend. Um, it is a bit difficult if you have such severe hobby ADD like I do. As far as the rest of the Alpha Strike mechs, now that I have a solid method for getting these done quickly, I should be able to knock these out nice and easy. Um, right now I'm waiting on some airbrush cleaner to arrive from Amazon because I'm really bad at making sure my airbrush is cleaned out after I'm done using it. So it has a bunch of dried paint and gunk in there. So I'm gonna wait until that arrives so I can clean out my, clean out my airbrush properly and be able to do some nice, super smooth base coats. So this is what I currently have for Battletech. And one more thing that I've been meaning to do for months now that I finally decided, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this knocked out, is my Army Painter uh, Skin Tones paint test. And to do that, I have, right now, I have five. I think one of them got knocked over by a cat, so I'm gonna have to reprint it. But I have five super basic Hero, Hero Quest style Barbarian models. They have lots of exposed skin, which works out really well for the, for the type of test I'm going to be doing. I did a Zenithal highlight on these. So I'm going to see what I, I'm going to give those paints a solid, a solid run through, see how they work out. Um, for those of you who follow me on social media and in various Facebook groups, you'll see that I did one, I did one test for Native American, for a more Native American style skin tone. And in the end, it worked out really well, just be very careful about sharing work in progress pics because you can you can inadvertently end up looking super super racist if you go with my method. That's one that's one thing I was really afraid of when I was posting that. So this is what I'm going to be focusing on for the next one to two weeks. I'm going to check back here then and we'll see how well I was able to focus. In that case, take care everyone.